Hello everyone. Today we are going to be comparing and contrasting trailers from the first series of two TV shows, both of which are trying to satirise the same thing, and that is the British Royal Family. So first off we should take a look at the US one as an example of how not to satirise the Royal Family. Now the US one is called The Prince, not to be confused with the great book by Niccolo Machiavelli. But according to Wikipedia, The Prince is an upcoming American animated sitcom created by Gary Gennetti for HBO Max. Now for those of you who don't know, and I didn't know this without Wikipedia, he is a writer for Family Guy and Will and & Grace. And he is also American, which probably explains why you are about to witness this monstrosity. So let's get into it. I know some of you are anxious. Some of you are frightened. But together, we will succeed. So already, as we can see from the trailer, for a show that is supposed to be about Prince George and the antics he gets up to, we can see that there is already quite a focus on the servants at Buckingham Palace. And already this is a very American outlook on the royal family. And you'll see the main difference is really here, where the focus lies, when it comes to this trailer and the UK one. I would like a treat. I would like a treat. The Queen would like a treat. And already it is again another very American-centric joke, where the royal and pampered just have no idea how to act as anything other than a child. Excuse me, do you have any tea that doesn't taste like piss? Thanks. And for some reason, they've made Prince George the focus of this TV show, which for some reason has the same stylings as Big Mouth and seems to have taken inspiration from Family Guy. It's just not a particularly original art style, which isn't necessarily a problem. But they also just seem to be taking jokes from it where the royals or rich or whoever they're satirising are just rude people. And really, by all accounts of the royal family, they are the most polite people in the world, apart from when Prince Philip told the photographer to get the fucking picture taken. Let's go over my day tomorrow. You have school? I don't know why I'm auditioning with you guys. I doubt anyone else here is even a tenor. We're all tenors. We're seven. I don't know why they're making Prince George sound gay, but that's apparently the direction they're going here. But again, th this just isn't a funny joke. They're trying to sell this as a comedy, and these jokes just aren't landing for me. The jokes so far are basically, the royals are all dicks, or lame Family Guy cutaway-esque jokes like the one we just saw. And as I say, this just seems like a very American-centric take on the royals. Now just wait till we get to the UK trailer, then we're talking comedy. Hey, play date. Glad you could make it. And snack. I tea. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that kid freaks me out. I mean, this is a big issue here. That screamed to me, Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. They just seem to have applied Stewie Griffin to Prince George here. And I just don't get why out of everyone in the royal family, you'd try and base the show around Prince George, but then have all your jokes just be these really lacklustre and really generic, rich people are rude and pampered jokes. Because you can make those jokes funny, as we will see. It, it, the issue here isn't that they are ripping on the royal family. You can rip on whoever you want, and you can even make it funny. The problem is, is that this could be absolutely any fictitious royal family, or real royal family, and it would still apply, because Americans do not understand the royal family. And so that's why a lot of these jokes are missing for me. You received a postcard from your Uncle Harry and Aunt Meghan in LA. Let me see that. This might be the smallest palace I've ever been in. Well, it's an apartment. Yes, an apartment palace, I know that. Lots of tiny palaces inside one big palace. See, just the same generic, rich people are pampered and don't understand the common man joke. And you had Prince George being rude again, saying, give me that. Just nothing particularly clever in here. And in a trailer, you'd expect to have the jokes that are really going to sell it to you as a comedy, but it's just not working here. Great. I feel a shit brewing. I mean, once again, in this scene, you've got them being pampered and not even being able to go to the toilet by themselves without a servant. Okay, that might be funny to Americans, whatever. But I paused it here because I want to point out that caricaturing, I'm fine with. You can caricature anyone in any way you want. But again, it's a, it's a much less subtle way of caricaturing here than it is compared to the UK version. Because the UK version is live action, so it uses living actors. So they have to get the caricatures out in other ways, which I think takes a lot more skill in 
writing and making the show an actual comedy rather than what this American's done, which is just, oh, give Prince William his big teeth and comb over. Whereas, as you'll see from the UK trailer, they actually make William look a lot more respectable, but write the jokes in, in my opinion, much funnier ways. Hi, George! Oh, is that French toast? Why? Do I look fat? I mean, yes. I'm hoping that one really nails the point that they have basically just made Prince George Stewie Griffin. But what's the point in making a whole show about Prince George if he's just going to be Stewie Griffin. You may as well have a show based around Stewie Griffin, which is basically Family Guy. I want to be king. She's had her go. Now it's my turn. I'm not a little boy any longer. I don't have to go running when I Charles, hurry up. We're leaving. Coming, mummy. Predictable, painful jokes. I can guarantee I will not be watching this. And honestly, if there are any Americans that found these jokes funny, please tell me in the comments why. Because I think when you compare it to the UK satire, it's just got a shit all over this. I think this play date is a big success. Ooh, certainly, sir. I haven't had this much fun. <laughs> okay, well, of course it's more fun than whatever life event you were about to reference. Your life's a low bar. It's literally the same two jokes with all of these. You're either seeing them pampered and being massive dicks to all of their servants, or they just act like perpetulant children, which, in the context of Prince George, that at least makes sense. And that at least makes a lick of sense, but it's just with all of them, and it's just a very basic bitch version of American comedy writing. It's lazy, and I can see it running old very, very, very quickly. But now we are going to compare and contrast with the UK satire, which is the Windsors. Which improves on the other satire immediately, in my opinion, by the fact that they're not caricatured just by their cartoony appearance. You'll see in the trailer that they are obviously caricatured in the way they talk and the way they act and all that, but it also involves more of the royal family. It's not just focusing on those who are in the news in America. It involves Princess Eugene and Beatrice on the right, and also Prince Edward, Prince Andrew, and his wife Fergie on the left, along with Pippa Middleton, who is just to the left of Prince Harry. But you'll also notice that there is no Queen Elizabeth or Prince Philip. And while you don't see it in the trailer, there is actually a very good writing reason for this, which is a good way to get across some very good jokes. But I'm not going to spoil it too much, we're just going to go through the trailer. But this show has three seasons, and I suggest you all watch it. They're on all four, and you can probably find them on other streaming services. So let's take a look at the Series 1 trailer. Wills and Kate, most popular royals ever. This is getting out of hand. The line's very clear. First me, then William, but me first. So already, while there aren't any jokes here, the trailer's really giving away some character already beyond simple Family Guy rip-offs. We have Camilla, who is clearly jealous of William and Kate, along with her husband, Prince Charles. And you have Camilla already acting slimy like an adult, and Charles like a man who is losing his popularity. They feel like real people and real royals, rather than what the US gave us. Why didn't you tell me you had Ebola? It hadn't been confirmed. But it's Ebola, Kate! Ebola! And again, another difference here. It's clearly the interpersonal relationships between the family, whether it's between Camilla and Charles or William and Kate. And this is not about simple jokes about them being dicks to their servants or being unable to live in the real world. These are just simple introductions to each character in a trailer. It's not even trying to sell you good jokes yet. Incoming! Have I been very shit? Just got recognised. They thought I was Mick Hucknall, but you know, it's close to now. And it's also selling you the caricatures of the other royals as actual characters, rather than just making them physical caricatures. For instance, you had Prince Harry saying incoming while he's ejaculating in Pippa Middleton, playing into the caricature that he is a bit of a ladies' man, but also he was an army man. And you had Pippa being a bit of a seductress, which mainly comes from the news that she had a better arse than Kate Middleton at the wedding. And you also have Fergie. Now, don't worry, Americans, you probably won't know who Fergie is, but that plays into the joke that she said, where she gets misrecognised, not as a royal, but as another celebrity. And these are all quick-fire jokes that aren't simple and predictable like they were for the prince and they tell you what each of these characters are like in a quick not even two second clip and this is just the trailer bear in mind they are trying to hide jokes from you that the show actually has rather than the prince which is trying to give you the best jokes which are all terrible we've outgrown our usefulness like 
nipples on men. I'm as important as a nipple on a woman. And again, this joke is quite layered, despite the fact it's quite tawdry, because the show is quite clearly showing where the conflict of the story is coming in, where Prince William realises that he's getting popular, but is thinking that he's outgrown his usefulness. But then it shows where Prince Charles's mind is, which is on nipples on women, which come from the news of his alleged affairs. But as I say, it's a caricature of his actual character, rather than a generic caricature that Americans had to come up with. This is Prince Charles and a caricature of him, rather than just your generic royal who never grew up, which is basically all the characters from the prince from the looks of the trailer. This could turn into a full-blown constitutional cross I don't know what that means. And again, another layered joke just in the trailer, and that's the last one by the way, that trailer's only 40 seconds long. But it shows that clearly Prince William is worried about a constitutional crisis that will impact the royal family. And yet you have another prince there, Prince Harry, who yes, is a caricature of a dumb boy, which comes from old news of him doing stupid things like dressing up as a Nazi at a fancy dress party. But he also doesn't know a very basic concept of a constitutional crisis, which he should understand as a royal. That's another layer to the joke, and if it doesn't land, that's fine. But for God's sake, at least it's a caricature of these actual royals as the people they are, rather than the bland Americanism, which is just rich people are pampered and act like children. And don't get me wrong, there is a bit of the misunderstanding of the common people in this show. It's just written a hell of a lot better. And at least it shows they have a care for the country in this show. Whereas I guess it's just a caricature of the American rich that they don't really care about their country. So yeah, it doesn't quite work the same. But the main point I'm trying to make in this video is go watch The Windsors. There's three seasons of it, and trust me, it's worth your while. But my other conclusion is, war with America. We were wrong to let them go independent. Look at the mess they've made. But that is everything I had for you today. So, as usual, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.